In this video I'm going to show you how you can use the command line interface, the terminal, to um, output an mp3 audio file to your um, speaker system or um, a, um, a movie file to the television via the HDMI cable and we're also going to integrate it with the, the GPIO so we press a button that will activate one of the, um, the video or the audio file and um, hopefully it should make sense in a moment. So copy an mp3 file and a video file like an mp4 onto a USB key, plug it into your Raspberry Pi, then fire up your desktop session and we're going to create a new directory here. So I'm going to call it OMX Player um, and uh, basically OMX Player is the software we're going to use to actually play these files and we'll look at that in a bit more detail in a minute. Then when you want to go to um, your accessories and um, your file manager and then from here what we can do is we can access my um, USB key which I've plugged into my Pi that has my two videos on it and I'm just going to copy those and I'm going to paste them into my um, directory I, I created which is, um, I call it what I call it, OMX player underscore GPIO. So just go ahead and um, paste those files into that directory you've created. For some reason it doesn't seem to show up there under the file manager. So just go into the um, terminal session and you'll see the files ha actually have been copied across. So um, CD desktop and then CD into the directory that you've created. Mine's called um, OMX player underscore GPIO and do an LS minus L and you can see there that the two files intro.mp4 and ni.mp3 um, do actually exist in there. I'm not quite sure why that doesn't show up, but I thought I'd show that just in case you guys run into the same problem. So the next thing we're going to do is to show you how to install the software um, OMX Player. Okay, so for those of you out there who follow my Raspberry Pi channel, um, installing software should be fairly straightforward to you. Um, but we're going to just go through it anyway. So what you're going to want to do is to run sudo apt-get update, which will update your system repositories, which is where your um, Pi looks to download new software. We'll let that happen, and then we're going to install the um, OMX player. So sudo apt-get install OMX player. What you might find is that you already have it installed and you're already running the latest version, um, but if not, it will um, download and everything will happen automatically for you. OMX player is a command line media player um, that's been specifically made for the Raspberry Pi's GPU, and it's come from the XBMC um, project team. So now all of our software is installed, we're going to um, plug in our wires, so our HDMI cable to our television and a normal 3.5mm jack to my amplifier in this instance. Um, so we're going to run the command OMX player, which calls the OMX player software, uh, minus O, and then local, which is to the local 3.5mm jack, the normal just headphone jack, and the name of my MP3 file. And then once we hit enter, it will play our file. Who are you? We are the night. Brilliant, so the second example is we're now going to use our um, HDMI cable, so it's very very similar to before, so we run the command OMX player minus O and then we're going to select HDMI, so both the audio and the video are going to go to the HDMI um, player, hit that command and we'll see that on our television um, our video file will be played um, I've just spliced this video in here um, just to make it easy to see um, but later on in the video we'll explain exactly how um, you can see it working on a real television. So this is a great way, now what we can do is we can integrate a little bit of electronics into our code by pressing a button to activate the first example and then press another button to activate the second example. So what I've done is created some uh, very small amount of Python code that you can download. So type in the command wget minus o omx player underscore button dot py for Python and then that big long scary URL that I'll put in the description field. And um, Once that's downloaded we can have a quick look and we can see that we have our um, Python code there and a couple of log files that when you run it it will generate and um, we'll basically be able to um, run through that example. If you follow me this far you can look in the description of the video and in there what I'll have is uh, this screenshot with all the shopping list of what components you're going to need um, plus a couple of sample um, files, an mp3 file and a mp4 file 
and here's a quick example of how um, the Python code will look. So I'll run the command sudo python omx underscore um, button dot py. Press the first button and the audio will play as you can hear it. Who are you? We are the knights who say ni. No, not the knights who say ni. And then once it's finished, it will say have a nice day. And then you can press the uh, second button and it will play the video file. There's a little bit of a delay, but um, it does do that. And um, there we see it happening. So that's that. Um, I really invite anyone to go and have a look at this and have a play with it. And if you make something out of it, please send me a video reply. I'd love to have a look and see what you guys have created from this. If you like, please don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Facebook.